Yeah, no, yeah, but the, the, we, we just talked about that the, the movie Hard Times with Bronson. That's that's what the guy does. That's how everybody breaks their hand in that movie, and it's true. You know, I I, I told the story that I was sparring after seven years. Uh, I didn't spar. I took a one more fight in 2006, and I was sparring with a guy. And um, and he's, uh, he first he asked me, "Do you want to spar?" I said, "No, my reflexes are not uh, back yet. I just started, you know, two weeks ago." He says, "Oh, that's okay." I said, "Oh no, I'm not saying that for you. <laughs> for me, I'm saying that for you because normally when I give you a head kick and I see that you're not blocking, I can redirect the head kick and I'm not going to hit you. But now I don't have that reflex. It's been a long time ago, so let me get into it." He said, "No, I don't mind." I said, "Okay, then it's good. Then we we'll fight." I said, and "Don't throw that crazy overhand that you have." That's what I told him. And the first punch he threw was the crazy overhand right in my neck. So I stopped and I looked at him. I said, okay, you know, you do that again, I'm going to hurt your hand. And he started laughing and we started boxing. And sure enough, he threw it again. The only thing that I did was lean over. He hit the top of my head. He was on the ground. Ooh. And that was with a boxing glove. He goes, oh my God. I said, I told you, I'm going to hurt your hand. You know, and that's why as a bouncer also, you know, when, was, when, when I was a bouncer and guys, they talk to you, yeah, yeah. And they, you know, they turn away. You know, they're going to sucker punch. That's that was the moment I was waiting for because if they turn away, if I see one movement, only thing I would do is lean over because they hit the top of your head. And they're not going to break the top of your head. Oh no 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 no! The bones in the hand much tinier than the thick skull. Oh, Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Every time I'm around you, I learn something. <laughs> like I'm just fucking, <laughs> like I'm just fucking blown away right now. I shouldn't have smoked that pot. <laughs> you're freaking me out. It, I didn't it's, know it's this. It's more shit. intense. You know, and another great thing about this is distance. I always talk about distance. Like with boxers, right? If you if you squeeze the whole time, you, you can't box, right? Because you're draining yourself. So what happens? You make a fist at the end of your punch. That's where you start squeezing, right? The last, let's say, this this space, you start squeezing the hand. With this, if you lean over, so if the target is here. And you want to hit it, but the head is still relaxing. And suddenly I lean over, I'm closing the distance. So not only you're going to hit my head, full power at the top of my head, but your hand is not fully squeezed yet because you do that only at the end of your punch. So if I suddenly meet your fist halfway down by bringing my head forward, yeah, you're going to snap your hand for sure. And what about the jaw? Like, is it only the top of the head? Like, no, no, no. You the jaw. That's good. You know, you can hit the jaw. Okay. Of course, yeah. That. But then people go like, but you can break the jaw. Yeah. Okay. I believe so that it can break easier. I I, I do believe that because it will be bone on bone. But come on, guys. Have an an, an an MMA glove. And, and well, what about this? What Thai boxing? You can shin kick somebody in the face. You can knee him in the face. You can elbow him in the face. They're all unprotected. Much harder weapons than a punch. Right? A knee, a foot. I mean, it's longer on its way to travel. It's a heavier uh, object and it has more time to develop speed and power. And that's why it's way more. So shin kick from uh, uh, from Krokop in the face. And you think that's healthy, right? And now you're talking about a a little tender hand that's going to hit a skull. Come on, guys. You know, the smart guys. They hit 40, 50 percent of the head. Yeah. You're, you're allowed to knee someone in the face? No, no, no. But I'm well, saying. Well, not in yours, but in other sports. Oh, allowed to no, knee... in MMA, you can do that. In the face? I've never seen that. That's... No, I have a really great knockout that I can show you that I drilled somebody's knee in the face. Oh. I, like God. literally grab him by the hair and then I knee him as hard as I could in the face. You see, but that's, and that's an unprotected knee. You know, so yeah. people, th that's allowed. A foot, a shin, a knee, and an elbow is allowed, but suddenly a hand is not allowed. You see, so if you start breaking it down, you're going to realize, hey, actually, <coughs> he is right. And what I always say, don't believe me, just Google it. You know, I, I can say, of course, because I'm the president of the company, people are going to go, yeah, of course he says that. Google it. See it yourself. If it's 2 in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes. Thinking that you know I'm gonna re I'm gonna reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at 5:30 a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?